Hello. So, I got the um, tonic kit for the telephone box. So, I made a card with just using the front. That's not sticking very good, so I'm going to have to fix that. But, I made the card. So, now, I'll make the box. And there's a lot of cutting, so I went ahead and cut it ahead of time, and I usually don't. I usually wait <coughs> so that I can be sure that you see everything I do in case something goes wrong or whatever. Nothing went wrong. It went nice and smooth. It was slow going because I used um, my marquee instead of the big plate one, and it could have got a lot more pieces done probably, but... I don't know. Anyways. So, it says to have one of these. Four of these. And four of these. Okay. These are all later. So, um, cut the dies and then join the four glue tabs to the squares. To the square cutout. So we're going to fold these. And I probably should have done these in black. But I didn't. Man, the weather is, is horrible here. It is cloudy and windy again, and it's cold, and I guess other people are having worse weather, but I don't know. So how are they joining these? To the top. And the bottom. So underneath like this okay so I got this glue steel this is tough I'm telling you this bottle I don't know if I'm going to make it through the whole thing. Okay, and I want it up against the edge. And line it up. This wind, it's been, what, three days counting today? I mean, it is, it is just, oh, so rough on me. And not a whole lot I can do about it, but it's been rough. <laughs> Ugh. I do not like it. Not at all. I've been in worse places where my allergies have been worse than this, but this right now is, is rough. And I don't know if it's because the air is dry out here that it makes it feel just drier, like... You know, before my allergies would get bad and my hair would get all clogged up and stuff. Well, I have all of that. But now I also feel, you know, usually you have a lot of drainage and stuff with allergies. And I have that. 
but it doesn't feel that way. It feels more drier, like, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but I feel like I just have to drink all the time. You know, like, I just feel dry. Not necessarily thirsty, but dry. So, water, water, water. And honestly, I'm one of those people... I do not, I do not care for water. Now, I do like the um, flavor water, like the circle flavor water. I love that circle flavor water. Um, that's, that's good stuff right there. So, I do like that. And now, see, when I first started, someone had told me about it because... In my job, I was allowed to have a water bottle. But it had to be clear liquid in it, water. It couldn't be, you know, anything else. And I don't like water, plain water. I can't drink it. So I couldn't buy those packets of flavors. Because they changed the color of the water. But the circle... The water goes through the lid, and that's where the flavor is. It's in the lid. And so it is still clear in the bottle. And, you know, you're still getting the flavor, but the liquid is clear. So it worked for that. And so I got some. I loved it. And... Um, I say I loved it, but really only like two flavors. I like the grape and I like the cherry. I'm not into kiwi, watermelon, and and all of that stuff. And with some of that stuff, you could really taste the um, sweetener, the artificial sweetener stuff. But with the to me, anyways. With the grape and the strawberry, it doesn't feel like it. Okay, so now I gotta glue these on here and the tabs together. So, this is my question what's gonna be the best way, easiest way to do this? One at a time, like that, but then when I come here, how do I get that one in? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it on the tab, but I'm not going to come all the way over with the glue. And I will just glue that later. So I'll start here. And get my glue on. I hope I get that where you can see. I'm still putting the piece there, but I'm... Just not getting the glue there. So, let's see. Let's line that up. And honestly, I would. I would use the tab to um, center it on here. It's a little tough with it not being glued there. Shoot. Because it keeps wanting to slide. I'm going to go ahead and glue here. Because that might help hold it once I have this down better. Tab. Looks crooked, right? The tab. Okay. I 
didn't fold it. <laughs> so I need that folded. I need to slide it up. This is a mess. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do, but let me get it on here. I just feel like once I get all the pieces put on, it's going to be better. I could be wrong about that. Fold these pieces. Okay. Okay. Get it all lined up. It's a little wonky looking. Now, I'm going to stick glue on here. In here. It might have just been easier to glue these all together and then stick the whole thing down in and then to do it the way I did it. This is really the only one here that's doesn't seem to be on right but see they're not completely lining up like the size is a little off or something I don't know That is the top of the box. Okay. Now we have to put these together. Okay. There are two variations. One die has a door function. That would be this one here. It's got the door. Only use this die in if you intend to include an opening door feature. So I decided we're gonna have the opening door feature. So I only did one of these and I did three of the others. I wish this scored a little bit better. I don't know why it's not scoring better. I had the same problem when I did it for the card. It just didn't score right. <laughs> but it's... a feature I want to use. So, 
I should have just gone back and scored it better, I guess. Okay. So there is the door feature, and you can tell by the handle, if you don't know. Um, we got the four glass panels. Two of them didn't cut completely. So I think what I'm going to do is line them up and trim them. There's one. It was just the bottom for some reason didn't cut all the way. So there we go, four. And they have to be glued on. And then we got um, these here and these. And I don't know if we're gonna need these insert dots or not. And one of this, but it didn't cut that out. I wonder if it was supposed to. There's barely an impression of the lock thing. So, use the four gl vertical glue tabs to join the sides. That's these. If you're using the opening door feature, take sure take care to ensure adhesive does not touch the door hinge. The lid can be glued on if you have used the door feature. Otherwise, don't glue the lid. Um, now it doesn't say. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the... Um, the um, vellum on the door right now before I join the doors. I'm not trying to join the doors and then put the vellum on. that glue I'm just dotting it but it definitely needs to be on there you see what happened to the other door right and I'm gonna try to get it on straight as possible You can definitely see where the glue dots are. Thank goodness this is the inside of the box, right? <laughs> okay. And there's number one. And I don't know. It's always with the card. It was really crinkly, too. And it seems like that's just from die cutting it that it did that. So it just made it wavy. See, they're all kind of wavy. Okay, I'm going to get these panels on all of these one two three three
I just wish this weather would stop this. Maybe we'll have a nice weekend. Maybe that's why it's doing this. To give us a nice weekend. I can hope, right? I can hope, I can hope, I can hope. Man, you know what? Um, today, my grandma, I, I had belonged to, to um, oh, what's that family tree site? Ancestry.com for a short time. Um, got basic information about my family, but could only go back so far. And that was quite a little while ago. So today, and I've been getting notifications from them for ever since then. You know, they don't ever let you go. Um, but today there was new hints and it was with my grandparents. It was my grandma. It had my grandma's name on it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go check on this one because usually it doesn't say the person or anything. It just says you have a hint, you know, or there's a leaf or something. So I went ahead and checked it out and it was my grandma's um, and I guess they got her family, her line all the way back to when they came over from where they came from. They say she's Norwegian ancestry. Norwegian so and that's always interesting to find out stuff because I can remember being a kid and we were we were doing our our family trees and stuff and so I had asked my grandma um what we were what our nationalities or ancestry or whatever it was. And she said, we're mutts. <laughs> and she never did say no more than that. And it, I almost got the feeling back then that she didn't want to talk about it. So I didn't ever press her. You know, I just went back and told my teacher. My grandma said, we're mutts. And I remember my teacher laughing and said, okay. <laughs> That's fine. And she just had me sit down and do my, you know, my brothers, my sisters on a sheet of paper and, um, you know, basically just write about my immediate family. So <laughs> we're mutts. So, <laughs> yeah, that was interesting my grandma was an older grandma even for my age because my father was basically a change of life baby so you know she was an older parent for my dad to start with I mean, she had seven kids um so even like some of my dad's brothers and sisters and stuff. I mean, my dad had cousins that was older than he was. Um, so, yeah. I had cousins I thought were aunts and uncles as a kid. I didn't know that they were cousins. I thought they were aunts and uncles. And I thought their kids were my cousins. And um, my dad was kind of close to some of his cousins and and so growing up not when we were growing up but when he was growing up he was somewhat close to him so he um never minded if we called him uncle you know or aunt or whatever he never corrected us and said that's your cousin that's not your aunt uncle i mean we already had a lot of aunts and uncles it didn't mean nothing to us we didn't realize 
there's that's too many you know <laughs> so um yeah so my grandma was older anyways and then i believe my dad was a little bit older too for you know compared to most parents of my people that i went to school and stuff with okay now we got to make the base So we're going to fold these. And I've got two of these pieces. And it says join the two die cuts together using the smaller tabs. And... These are cut out of the same one, so I don't know. Maybe they're talking about these ones are smaller. So that's what we'll do. We will turn them. Okay, see these ones are straight. And then these ones are smaller. So what I'm going to do is where these ones are smaller, on this one I'm going to put the bigger. So all I'm going to do... How am I going to do this? Is tuck every other one, right? And pull one out. So it'll be like that. I'm going to reverse here. So like this. But that's got to be in and that's got to be out. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is put glue on these smaller tabs on... Maybe, you know, I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm going to try putting glue on all the tabs right now and just sticking them all together, just trying to get them all stuck together. Just somehow working it to get them on. So just the smaller ones are going to get glue. And they will be on the inside. So I got to get the smaller ones in and these bigger ones out. So the smaller ones in and in. So I just set that down in there. And now these bigger ones go out. And now I gotta hold the whole thing together. Hold them all together. Hopefully they glue together nicely. I don't know. I'm just gonna hold them all together. And see, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is gonna work. I didn't join my doors together. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I didn't join the doors together. So, that's all right. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So, it looks like I got them stuck pretty good. And there's a couple of spots. Uh oh, that one. Not quite dry. Okay, so the way this is going to work now, that's going to be the bottom. This is going to be the top, anyways. So even though it looks like the door should go this way, it really doesn't. It goes this way. Which seems a little odd. It seems like the door opens backwards, doesn't it? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. 
Anyways, we gotta get these tabs folded down. This paper does not like this. I keep hearing noise. It sounds like a trash can. And the only thing I can think of is either the wind is blowing the neighbor's lid of the trash can up or there's thunder out there, but I sure don't see anything that looks like thunder. Okay, so I got to fold all these tabs. It's thunder. Yep, because it just went again, so we got a storm coming. I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to get snow this low or not. I don't think we're quite that cold. But you know, this valley here, you just never know what's going to happen. Mutt, I'm a mutt. <laughs> I, I still laugh, but I didn't laugh at the time. At the time, I thought, what does she mean? We're a mutt. <laughs> I mean, I didn't understand that she was just trying to say that, you know, we had so much mixed. But really, looking back, there's not that much mixed. Like she put on, so... And then these are going to do the corner. So Norwegian. I would have never thought. Well, maybe I would have. My grandma. My grandpa don't. I don't think my... I don't know if my grandpa... What... He is now. We haven't gone all the way back with that family where they come from. There was one person in his family, but when I'm not sure if this is his line or not, you know, so many lines, family lines got confused and stuff, but um, with my grandpa, somebody's relative with the same last name as my grandfather's came over. They were originally from England, but they went to France and um, was an indentured servant. And through France came to the U.S. So, um, yeah. Um, and it's kind of cool. Like. To see that kind of stuff. I mean I don't know if that was. My grandfather's line or not. Some people say yes. Some people say no. And it don't make sense. And, and then it looked like. One of our cousins and married a cousin way back because Satterfield married Satterfield. But then somebody come back and said, no, that's not. It was. He married his brother's wife, his brother or his brother's widow. His brother had been killed. And so afterwards he married his brother's widow. And so, because everybody's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but we're all married to cousin. No, no, that's not what happened. He married his 
brother's widow, which was common back then, you know, because they probably had kids, you know, and, and that, and that couple ended up having kids and, you know, but interesting information. My grandma, get this, this is something. Um, <laughs> my grandma was a teacher. Now, my grandma was 93 when she passed in, like, early 90s, if that tells you anything. My grandma was a teacher, and, of course, when she married my grandfather, she couldn't be a teacher anymore. My grandma was a teacher, but she only went to the eighth grade. Now, I don't know, but I'm thinking back then, eighth grade must have been a bit of schooling. And probably especially for girls, you know, I would think back then maybe only the boys or men or whatever went to college. But yeah, she was a teacher and she only went to the eighth grade. Can you imagine somebody with an eighth grade education teaching your children? It is amazing how times change. But I know that my grandma did stress education a lot when we were kids. So, yes, yeah, she only had an eighth grade education. My grandpa was a farmer. And he only had a fifth grade education. I didn't know that. That was something I found out after later. My grandma never told me that, you know, she had only an eighth grade education. And I loved my grandpa dearly. It really did. My grandpa, I couldn't tell you a wrong word about him. But my grandpa and I were not close. But my grandma and I, we were close. But my grandma never said, you know, I never went past the eighth grade. No. But my grandma also never told me she was a teacher. I didn't find that out until after she passed away. So. That was um, a surprise because I had wanted to be a teacher as a kid and my grandma never said, oh, you know, I did that. No, nope, she didn't. Didn't. So here you're hearing the history of my family. You probably could care less, but we're just sitting here gluing this all together right now. We're just getting these tabs on and putting the sides on. So it's just something interesting that, you know, to me from today that that popped up about my grandma being from, well, not being from, but being Norwegian. My grandma was strictly country folk. <laughs> I guess that's how you would put it. That's what my grandma was. They were farmers. She was born in Missouri, but then moved to Arkansas um, when she was a child, and that's where she met my grandpa. So, and my grandma 
went from Minnesota to Arkansas, and I don't know how far that is, how far their walk was, but she went on a wagon train and had to walk. She was just a young child, like five years old or something, and had to walk because the wagons were reserved for supplies. I mean, you couldn't just, the supplies and stuff were too important. And they couldn't put that extra weight of a child on. And so she walked it. And that's how they got there. Walking in a wagon train. Isn't that something? I mean, when you're a kid and you learn about this stuff in school and then you find out that your grandma did that, I mean, amazing, amazing. I always thought they were poor. And then when I did research into the family, when my grandpa's side was poor, but um, my grandma's side was not. And I don't know if, I know my grandpa met my grandma by working for my grandma's dad. And that's how they met. That don't mean they had money, though, right? But my grandma's family, my grandma never said we had money, nothing like that. My grandma would have never said anything like that. But her family, where they came from, the town they came from carried their last name. Um... I don't know if it still exists, and I really should look. I know there's still a graveyard that carries the last name. Um, you know, because it was a family plot, and it still exists. Old as it is. Well, last I checked, it did still exist. I don't know that it does still to this day, but I only looked like five years ago or so. Or maybe it was a little longer than that, but... It did still exist at that point. You know, the FedEx guy just drove past and he did not stop and leave me a package. <laughs> oh, that FedEx man. So, um, yeah, so my grandma's family had money, but, um, don't know why they moved out of Arkansas or nothing. No idea. I do know that my grandparents had to leave Arkansas. And I don't know that they had to leave. They chose to leave Arkansas and go to California. And, of course, my grandpa was a farm worker, so California had work at that time. But um, there was a family feud. And my uncle got, uh, was just a baby, I guess, and got a scar across his forehead from where um, they had set up a trap for my grandparents, I guess, and set wire across the road and so when my grandparents went riding by they cut that wire and it cut the baby's head so that's where my uncle got that scar from and I guess that's when they decided they were going to leave and the family my dad says anyways the family had a bad reputation and of course my dad didn't grow up there because you know his, his parents left but you know, they went and visited and went to see cousins and stuff. And when I say family feud, I mean family. It was family feuding against family. And they were that vicious. 
I just don't understand. How that could be. But. Um, my grandma was very. Adamant. When we were growing up. That you stuck by family. You know no matter what. My grandma always did. And I think. I wonder if that had something to do with it. Like she. Was she worried about. Another feud or something. I don't know. But. Yep, yeah, her was thing was you support family, you stand by family. It's it's about family. And even if you don't agree, I don't think there's any families like that anymore. I think that's a dead, old, dying thing. And nobody does that anymore. Boy, that doesn't even look right. It looks way smaller on the bottom than, than the top. I hope this is not going to be bad. Please don't be bad. This mm, did not fold where it was supposed to fold, so let's see. If we can fix that, it needs to go down some. I don't think that's going to fix that. It's just too loose. It's loosening up the paper instead of folding it. I thought I'm trying to say, I guess. Yeah, so now you know my family's history. All my family skeletons. <laughs> My dad, you know, my dad was the youngest. He said his brothers could fight. And um, by the time I came along, two of them had passed. Um, they had um, been killed in the war, two of them. And then um, the others had all kind of moved away and stuff, so... But he said the the two that had passed in the war, he said they get to fight in each other. No. Oh. He said they'd be vicious, vicious. So this just sits down on this as a platform. And I'm going to bring this in because now i got to get those tabs to stick down. And honestly, I can't tell if I got it straight or not. Nope, I don't. There we go. That's better straight, I think. I, I, I know. Okay. So, um, yeah. It was definitely something. Hearing stories. I love hearing stories about back then, about my my family and my relatives and my grandparents and, you know. I do love hearing those stories. Probably other people could care less. Like I'm sitting here telling you this stuff and you probably could care less. And this goes over the top and let's see how bad off I am. I think I'm really bad off. I think I kind of messed this up, but no, it went on. So I could glue it on or not, and 
I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I needed a sturdier red paper, I think. The back black paper feels really sturdy. But the red paper is not sturdy enough. Look. It's just not sturdy enough. I needed a sturdier red paper. Put that glue down heavy enough to hold it. You know, I kind of thought when I made the card, I should have realized. When I made the card, we're only just used the front, and I had to open that door, and I thought, oh, this paper maybe isn't the best choice for this. And here I am again in the same boat. How long is this video? Like an hour already. So... I'm not going to decorate. You've seen me decorate the card. And so all I would do different. The reason I'm not going to decorate is the video is so long. Oh, I do want to get the latch on somehow. I want to see how that's done. But for the decorations, all I would do is take, um, do four of the red and put them up here. Um, do the silver, I might do the telephone word on the other side, but I wouldn't do all four sides. Eh, maybe I would. Yeah, maybe I would. Um, I guess you'd have to decide that for yourself, what you wanted to do. But that would really be, um, the crown. Eh. Probably just at the front. Probably just at the front with the crown. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know. I've never really seen one in person. So, but there's the box. It's not very big. Really, it's this door is all wonky. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's a magnet lock. Oh, I don't have magnets. I do somewhere. I didn't do a good enough job on this to use a magnet on it, so. So, let me just give you the rundown. So, you, the, um, with a 10 centimeter, or 10 millimeter circle magnet. So, you take this piece, and you glue the magnet. On there, and you back it up with two it says two but it shows two but it also shows two here and it didn't say two cut for it only said to cut two see but it looks like you do two. And then stick the magnet in. And then that goes over. So what I might do. I don't know if it'll work. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to glue these together. I don't know if it's going to work. But mine didn't turn out good enough to waste some magnet on. But I would like to get a lock on it. Okay, now I'm going to glue both of these to this. I 
honestly, I don't see anywhere where it shows where you put the thing. Then, I'm going to take these and glue these together. That might not be tall enough. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And then, see, it's do I put this here and then there? Or I'm going to have to. If I don't, it's not going to have enough bulk to it. It needed more, really. Now these will glue on here. And there's a circle in there. You can see the circle. And just go by that. Now this is not going to be dry. So I would just... Let's just wait a minute. <laughs> let's just wait a minute. I guess you would put this here or it could be yeah yeah they don't show where they have it let me see the picture from the box okay yeah they just got it on the door from here to there so but that door just needs to go up a little bit whoops okay so this is gonna have to go this way so I'll put a little glue here and glue this on they got it on the door. Okay. I don't know. It's got to be on the door. I might have over glued it. <laughs> Is what I'm thinking. I did. I just put too much glue. And then wherever that's going to line up. Is where this would go. Usually, I like to put glue stick it on what it has to meet up to. See, it's just not thick enough. Just not enough thickness for it to meet up. This would go here, and that would go there. So that would hold. <sighs> that would go there. And on the door. Oh, there we go. TV came on. Darn. I just want it to hold. That's not the right spot. If you make them thick enough, they'll stick inside. One will stick inside the... So, 
if you put enough of the dots and enough of the empty circles, then the dots will stick inside of there. Um, but there's not enough on here. There's not enough bulk to hold it. So it won't work. With just two, you'd have to do four or five of them. So, um, anyways, that's my box. Let me get it back on. Let me get the lid back on. Show you what it looks like. I, of course, did not decorate. And this red paper is not sturdy enough. It just isn't. You can tell by looking at this thing. This red paper. Dang, that don't even want to go down now. There we go. So had I decorated it up, it would have been a lot cuter. But I needed to get it. I needed this red sturdier. I might do this over. If I do, um, I'll do the video and post it. And if you want to watch it, you can. But I do need to do this with a sturdier red than their red that they sent in their kit. You know, you just assume because it comes in the kit, it'll work. But I think it should have been sturdier. So, anyways, thanks for joining me. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now, everybody.